What is up guys? It's your boy Sean here. Welcome back to the videos. Today we're going to be talking about uh, African black soap. So this is something for me uh, that's been a lifesaver uh, as far as you know things like hyperpigmentation, when I used to get razor bumps, and even acne. African black soap is just really good for all of those different things. Helps even out your skin tone, helps keep acne at bay, um, and it's really, really natural. Typically should only include shea butter and palm oil. Um, and then occasionally there's a few other brands where we'll mix in a few other different ingredients for either scent or... Alafia is a brand that uh, both me and my wife use. Been using them for about six months now. And, uh, and I have to say that they're pretty good. Um, out of all the brands that I've tried, I've tried a couple different African black soaps from Shea Moisture and a few other brands and, and those have always broken our skin out for some reason. And they're always really dark black in color. And I can never really find, you know, uh, what everybody would say was a really, really good African black soap. People that I know that have used African black soap have sworn by it, never use anything else to wash their face. And they get all of these unique benefits and their skin just looks really good. So I was curious as to what I was doing wrong out of the black soaps that I was picking. So once we found Alafia, I mean, ever since then, we have not washed our face with anything else. I mean, we strictly have been using African black soap um, in liquid form. So we used, we tried the bar soap. And the bar soap's great, but it's kind of difficult to have to maintain it. It can go bad um, pretty quickly, so, um, or it doesn't hold together as well. We've opted to use the, li the liquid African black soap, and this is just a lot easier to use. You just use one pump in your hand and you're good to go. It's done a really good job of really clearing out our skin and then making sure that we don't get any new breakouts. Um, and then slowly but surely, it's starting to, to fade away the dark spots that we've had for years. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and kind of show you um, the brand, if you haven't heard of it before, and then uh, just kind of show you how we use it on a daily basis. So what I really think is cool is, first of all, Alafia's branding is just really, really good. The packages are really nice and, and the colors are cool. Um, and they come in a variety of other scents. Uh, we opted to use the eucalyptus tea tree. I've been using this for the past six months and we're pretty much all the way through this first one and we just uh, picked up a second one. We usually pick them up from Whole Foods. Um, they have them at Fresh Time and you can purchase them online as well. Um, but I mean, it, it, the, the African black soap, what's really cool about this is that it's, it's pretty much multi-purpose. Um, so if you want to use it uh, as a body wash, if you want to use it as a facial cleanser or shampoo, um, or even just a hand soap just to wash your hands or even as a shaving cream, you can do that as well. Um, we've opted to just use it as a facial cleanser. So we use it you know, twice a day, morning and night, um, to wash her face. My wife uses this to clear makeup off of her face and she said it does a really good job for that. For me, um, I typically don't use it to shave. I use shaving cream, but I've, I've heard that you can use this for shaving as well. So as far as a facial cleanser, it does a really good job. Uh, and then uh, what's also cool about the brand is that they're, they're sustainably sourcing all of their ingredients. So um, the shea butter is, is fair trade. Um, and then uh, a lot of the other things that they do, they work really closely with uh, cooperatives in West Africa to be able to kind of give back to those communities. Um, and they just work really closely with all the things that are happening back that way. So I just think it's cool to be able to purchase into a brand that, you know, has such a rich heritage and shows every step that they do um, and is really transparent about, you know, all how sustainable and all the other efforts that they've done back in Africa. So I think this is just really, really cool. No weird ingredients, no extra stuff in here. I mean, it's just, you know, it's really simple. Basic oils, like I said uh, before, so neem leaf, shea butter, um, and then uh, there's palm oil, eucalyptus, and then tea tree. And so all of those have just different benefits that are gonna be good for your skin. Um, the tea tree helps keep the acne at bay, so that's usually why we stick with this one. We originally had the 16 ounce bottle and we've just repurposed the uh, pump from that one. Um, typically when you get the 32 ounce big bottles, they come with a, a pop, a lift, lift cap um, that you would just lift up and pour out whatever you need. Um, and put it back. For us, it just got pretty messy to use. Um, so we, we opted just once we were finished with that first 16 ounce uh, liquid black soap, we have moved, moved the same pump over to this bottle and it's just worked out really well. Um, what we typically do, we just start with just one pump in our hand. 
and then we just wash our face with this. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't set up a lot. We usually just follow it up with whatever moisturizer we want to use, um, and then if we choose to use a toner before that, we'll do that as well. But I mean, it's pretty pretty easy and simple. One thing to keep in mind is that when you start using African Black Soap, your face is going to feel pretty tight in the first couple of weeks. Your skin will start to adjust. It pulls impurities out of your skin, but in doing that, it starts to dry your skin out a little bit more than normal. So if you give it some time, give it a week or two, start to see that your skin starts to feel and look more balanced. Make sure that when you finish with it, follow it up with your moisturizer right afterwards um, so that you know you keep your face moisturized and restoring moisture that, that was lost when washing. I'll leave the scent that we chose in the description below as well as some of our other favorite products. Um, and if you have any questions about African Black Soap, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll link everything that I talked about in the description below as well. Um, and until the next one, Thank you guys for watching. Peace.